Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn about the difference between absolute reference and relative reference in Excel. This is a very important topic and especially if you're a beginner, it is a must to know and then understand how you can use absolute reference and relative reference and what is the significance of it, okay? So basically, let's first understand what is relative reference and absolute reference and then relative column absolute row. I'll explain all of that, okay? So when we say relative reference, reference so the term relative itself signifies that in relation to something right so in relation to some cell so when we talk about the excel context it is in relation to the values within the cell right so what that's what relative is when we say absolute it something signifies which is sort of a fixed right so it's it's a fixed reference so when we write any formula so say for example here in relative reference when we say i want to add these two numbers number one and number two so i write the formula there and say i select the value first right and then comma separated cell number second right so which is b8 and c8 cells okay so now you can see that if i hit enter it adds these values right and to put it simply cell numbers that you see are displayed here so basically the first is the column right so b is the column and whatever row that number will be that's what the cell reference is right so it is basically this particular cell that is highlighted which has this value 45 is b8 because it, it's in the column b and row 8 right similarly if i move here it is c8 right so column is c but the row is still 8 and when we go to this formula it is basically adding the values that lie uh, within the cell b8 and c8 right now this is the relative formula why because if i move this so if I hover over this cell and try to replicate or copy this formula in other cells if I click on this now now you will see that the formula sum has changed to b9 and c9 right so the column is same because these values are in the same column but the row which contains the values 7 7 8 and 6 7 is different right so this is the c9 cell and this is the b9 cell right so the formula relative reference is when the formula itself changes and is in relation to the other cells right so if i press f2 on my keyboard it will give me a quick edit of this particular formula and now you will see it is basically b9 and c9 and it is, it is highlighting the cells that this particular sum applies to right so this is the relative reference because these formulas are in relation to particular cells right so this formula is in relation to this now when we talk about the absolute reference so absolute reference means the values or the cells are fixed right so the when we copy formula at different location the initial cells for which you want to add or subtract those cell reference is same how so if i write the sum here say for example okay and then add this 20 and then 30 right now at the moment this is relative reference okay but if i press f4 on my keyboard you will see that it has changed or added the dollars in front of the column right so column c and the row as well and then come to this click on this b7 and then press f4 again and the absolute reference for column b and row 7 will again be added right so now this formula is absolute reference because it is referencing when you have when you add the dollar sign before the column and before the row then that means the reference of the cell is absolute now it will own always refer to the cell it doesn't matter where you copy this particular formula so if i hit enter and if i you know move this formula or say just say press ctrl c and paste this formula somewhere else right i'll paste it here at the top or simply just you know say for example uh, drag and drop so once this sign appears plus sign if i move this right so you'll see all the values everywhere it is displaying 50 why it is because now this formula if i just highlight this cell here and press f2 to see the value or to see the formula details you will see it is still referring to this number one which is 20 and number two which is 30 so it is still referring to the b7 and c7 so that is what absolute reference is the cell reference for the absolute reference will be fixed it doesn't matter where you copy this particular formula the 
formula will still remain same right so if you'll see it is all same here but if i go here in the relative reference you will see as i move to the formula here in the row 8 it will refer to b8 and c8 if i move to the ninth it will refer to b9 and c9 so this is relative reference and absolute reference you have to append the dollar in front of the row and column right now this is the absolute reference let me escape it so delete this here as well so this is the absolute reference for row and column right now there could be absolute reference for the row but a relative column right so here say for example i have a formula which is sum and it is relative column but absolute row okay so say i simply add this value okay and then add another value and i want to have the absolute row but not the column right so what we need to do is we need to simply add the dollar sign in front of row okay so like this so now the Ah, sorry absolute row so absolute row is in front of the row we have this dollar sign and similarly for b7 right so now the column doesn't or the column reference b and c doesn't contain the dollar sign that means they are relative okay but the row 7 contains the dollar sign that means the row is absolute okay so if i hit enter you will see that it has given me the result here now if i copy this formula somewhere else right because it is containing the absolute row so it will give me addition of that right now if i move this to the right direction here right it will give me the different answer why because this formula here only has the absolute row so row is fixed right but the column is not fixed column is relative so as i move this formula in the right hand direction right so you will see now it has a reference to the d column okay so accordingly it has adjusted that okay so similarly for absolute column and relative row we can do the same thing so if i say sum and try to add the numbers and i want to make the row as relative but column as fixed right so column as absolute so just press f2 and once the dollar gets appended in front of column and not in front of row that's where the column is absolute but the row is not absolute similarly for this column right so now this is basically absolute column and relative row so if i hit enter now it will give me the result here but then if i move this downwards it will give me different results because now the row is not fixed but the column is fixed so if i move this in this direction or the other direction okay let me put a uh, insertion there so if i move this formula in this direction it will give me the same results because the columns are fixed so this b and c columns are absolute so it will always refer so if i press f2 here it will always refer to column b and c for the values but as as soon as i move this to up and down and change the row it will change the formula accordingly right so at the top you will see that the columns are fixed but the row has changed eight at the moment and that's why it is giving me addition of 45 and 65 which is 110 right so this is briefly what absolute reference and relative reference is in excel and how you can play around with absolute reference and relative reference and make a column as absolute reference or column as relative reference and understand different concepts okay so now let's understand where you can practically use the absolute reference and the relevance of it okay so you can understand this whole concept in a better way say for example you have the sales data for any company okay so here you have the sales amount okay and you have to distribute the sales commission to the people who are doing the sales right and the commission that you want to provide is say for example 10 percent okay so for every sale that is being made uh, we want to give you know agents the commission of 10 percent all right so here uh, we'll get the final amount or the commission amount so i'll say commission amount okay so now here let me have some hypothetical sales numbers there okay format this so all right 
So now we know that this commission percentage is always 10%. Now this is very rough calculation. So don't worry about the formatting and stuff like that. But I just want to show you where the absolute reference is going to help in a practical way. So now this sales percentage is fixed for 10% for every person who is doing the sale. Now it makes sense to keep this reference when we are doing calculation, the value in this particular cell, which is E13, if you see here, this is E column or uh, column E and the row number 13 where we have this percentage defined as 10% to be a absolute reference because we do not want that this value you know is being picked from different cell locations now why we want this because say for example tomorrow we want to change the percentage we just change at one place and all the commission amount should get reflected now let's see how we are going to achieve that now to calculate the commission amount we'll simply have the formula so we'll say equal to and the amount so amount is in d14 right and then multiplied by so we'll say star and the commission right so the 10 percent right so you'll see i select the cell which contains this 10 percent and now this is not the absolute reference right so it is still the relative reference okay because there are no dollars so what we'll do is we'll simply say uh, press f4 on our keyboard and you'll see dollar has been appended in the column and in the row there okay so now the value in this column in this cell e13 is the absolute reference okay so this is the value that will get referred in this formula it doesn't matter where i use this particular formula and the first cell d14 will change if i move this formula to say for example 15 row 15 right now i'll close this bracket and you'll see the sales or the commission amount has been calculated here now if i simply drag and drop this formula in other cells you will see the commission amount has been calculated accordingly as 10 percent right and in the next cell if i have highlighted and press f2 you will see still the commission percentage is being referred from this red cell here right which is 10 percent and the first cell which is the sales amount is from d15 okay if i move to the last one you will see still the commission amount or commission percentage is being referred to from this cell so that's why we use absolute reference for now tomorrow if our company decides to change this percentage to 12 percent as a commission we simply change the percentage here and all the values get reflected here as the commission amount so we do not have to basically go ahead and change the commission amount now say for example we do not follow this approach we do not follow the absolute reference approach what we do is we say for example do a 12 percent commission here and same thing we do for all other cells right so if we do something like this okay and here instead of this absolute or absolute reference what we do is we when we write the formula we just say it's not as an absolute reference but it's basically just the relative reference right so what will happen is if i we change it here and enter so in this case even though now the formula has changed to relative reference but then i have to basically ensure that all the percentages that are there in the column e with this approach needs to be updated right so if tomorrow it changes to 15 and we have to update 15 percent to all the sales then we have to keep updating this across all the values here right so this is very tedious job and and the whole point of excel here is to make our life easy and that's why this doesn't make sense it makes sense that if there is something static which is static across the calculation make it the absolute reference or the cell value as an absolute absolute reference now this is the static sort of value or the percentage that will be applicable for all the sales figure in the company for the sales agents so we keep it as an absolute reference so just keep a note of it that anything that you find static that can be made in an absolute reference or which you need to refer once and needs to update all other values make them absolute reference and once you will change that as in the central cell it will reflect in all other cells right so when whenever we write formula here instead of you know referring to this cell we'll refer to the absolute cell right so we'll simply say this one or just i'll remove this one okay and we select this and press 4 to make it the absolute reference okay so now you will see that it is referring to this particular cell and we do not have to do that 
percentage change thing manually in all the cells there okay so this is the real example that will be helpful when understanding the relative reference and the absolute reference okay so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching